This video will demonstrate how to use AutoCAD to create a dynamic block with a rotational parameter. Begin by drawing your geometry and model space. You can see here that what I have is a north arrow. We're going to set this up so that I can turn this north arrow to point uh, to whatever direction is north. One important thing to note is that I'm going to be inserting this drawing into another drawing. So I need to create a text style strictly for the uh, for the in which is the north arrow so you'll see that I've got this style here and it's associated with this uh, with this font here if I simply change the name or change the font used with standard when I insert it into another drawing later it will override the font that I have here and associate associate it with whatever standard is present in the destination drawing so again, it's very important that you create a style and associate it with the font that you want and then use that style when you create your text here. So this text is on that style called script. Once you have all of your geometry in place, go to the block editor and use the current drawing. <clears throat> now that we're here, we need to simply place a parameter and a rotation action. So we'll begin by placing the rotation parameter. Uh, again, I want to make sure that I add a label. So the label will be uh, north. And then I want to add a description. Rotate the arrow and then I can now enter my base point. The base point for the rotation parameter is just like the base point for the rotate command. It's going to be the center of that circle. So I'll pick the center of the circle. And then it asks me for the radius of the parameter. And I want <coughs> I want the uh, the, the <coughs> pardon me I want the uh, the grip to be at the tip of the arrow. So I'm going to pick the tip of that arrow as the radius of the parameter and then I'm going to add in my uh, rotation angle about that same place as well okay so here we go and I'll put the the dimension down there the parameter down there the angle here doesn't really matter I've set it up at 90 degrees um, but you can always go back in using the properties dialog box and change any of these angles. So the important thing is that you have your parameter in place with the base point at the center of the circle and you have your grip at the tip of the arrow. Notice that we have the yellow exclamation point which tells us that this parameter has not yet been associated with an action. So now we can go to the actions tab on the tool palette and use the rotate action. It asks us to select the parameter, in this case is the blue north parameter that we just put in, and then to select the objects. Now for this, I want to select all of these objects, but I do not want to select the in for the north arrow, so I'm going to hold the shift key and deselect the in for the north arrow. That way when I rotate the north arrow, the arrow itself will rotate, but the in will always stay upright and readable. Once I've selected my objects and deselected the in, I can press enter and we can test the block. So when I go to test block, notice now that I select my object, the grip comes up. If I hover over the grip, it tells me what it does. And then I can rotate this to whatever direction I want, but the in will always stay upright and readable. Now if I wanted to add a little bit more to this, I could go to the Change Properties dialog box, select that parameter, and notice now down here that I can change the value set. Right now it has no value set, but if I wanted to I could come in and set an increment. For example, I want the angle increment to be every 15 degrees in which case you can see now that it gives me uh, the ability to change this grip to any one of these 
different increments all the way around. And if I wanted to, I could even say I want it to start from angle zero and then maybe go 280 degrees, in which case now it only reaches around the top. Now that might not be um, appropriate for a north arrow, but it might be appropriate for some other sort of an application that you may have. Notice now that I can now turn this from here to here, okay, every 15 degrees.